Hi guys, hi loves, welcome back to my channel. Just in case you're new here, my name is Naomi Kiki. I'm so glad to have you back on my channel. And uh, thank you so much for 8.6k subscribers. Thank you so much guys. I don't take it for granted. I never thought I would even get to 5k subscribers. Imagine only 1.5k. Is it 1.5? Yeah, it's 1.5k subscribers remaining to be get 10,000. So as you can see from this video, I don't mind my hair. I've been so busy. I don't even have time to undo my hair and go to the salon. But at least right now, <laughs> I'm free. I'll do that. So don't mind my hair. So let's get into today's, uh, today's video. So today, I want to give you an update. Uh, update of mine because it's not usual for me not to post videos often you guys know that this year I decided to be consistent and that has really worked for me I want to tell you guys about my dad's hospital because I had asked you guys about the hospital I told you guys that my dad was not okay and you guys came through for me thank you so 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 much I had run out of options I was not even to to tell you like I don't spend it, there are some things that I don't like putting on social media but that one pushed me because I had like niko ni metafuta ho sini metafuta had in a scare to cheesy yeah so uh, my dad has been not feeling okay for years like I'm going to work in one a for many years you know men before they admit like wanaumwa they take time a lot you can't know like come to a cosiria sometimes wanaumwa na kwambianga na umwa na kichwa and maybe it's bad but for them they they are not taking it serious so my dad has been telling me like anaumango na masikio at night and then it causes the head to like in a fanyangatua kwena bad headaches but i didn't think it was that serious so there was this time that i had the same problem I think two years ago when I had a keloid, time we end up cut a keloid. And I talked to that doctor and I can pay a dawa. I think this condition is called tinnitus. Where you when you go to sleep, you can sleep. Those sounds, you can't even sleep. Sometimes they cause you to have very bad headaches and migraines. That's the condition that I had. And he gave me this e dawa uh -huh. it, uh, I can't remember. I will write it down there, but it's a very nice in a kwanga ear drops. Like when I drip kwamaskyo, ukilala, then you sleep on the ear. Since you hivi ama ni kilalia. Alafu ukia mka unakonga tu sawa like ukitumia tu vizuri. So uh, that condition, uh, you guys will forgive me if I'll talk too, too much, but I just want to explain. Yeah, so your condition is sana sana ina kwanga na watu waze. So, it's miss juu kwa nini liku ime nipujia. Plus, ata babangu, I don't know why ime kwa babangu juu, because my dad is not that old. He's in his 50s. Yeah, so, uh, Juzi, he called me. So, I, I always told him, like, enda hosi, umepimu wa kichwa, so sometimes maybe, you know, maybe it's the head, yeah, like that. But, you know, mwanaume atia ende hosi, ya kapimu wa kichwa. Hey, babangu alikuwa, he was like, alikuwa anenda hosi, anapewa dawa, ama, anatritua place ingine, then he goes home. So, me kawambia, uh, ukipata time, come to Nairobi, Nikutafti ye hosi wendo upimwe kichwa because I was worried because imagine your parent telling you like things like that you'll be worried yeah so you see he, he he called me in the morning very early in the morning he told me it's bad because it's making like had his events the happens me to care and when the heart is beating he can hear the heart beating from here like it was that bad I was shocked. Hey, that day you see what I siku, yani siku fanya kit. I was so shocked. I broke down. Tunajua to like kama ni mzazi wako and then especially a, a dad like mzee akikupigia tu akwambia kitukaa hiyo it's serious. Mimi I was shocked and then I told him to come the following day and he came and the first thing we we did we went for can ya kichwa we went to i'm going to, to say everything because i've gotten dms of people telling me they have the same condition 
and uh, we went to Vika level 5 akaskaniwa kichwa they charge i think 5500 5500 alafu akafanywa pia scan kidneys it was going for 1500 yeah 1500 and then thank god uh, the head is okay hana condition yote kwa kichwa so the only remaining condition was his ears alafu thank you so much guys the way you came through for me as i was asking for the for good has uh, for good hospitals the uh, ent the maskio and you guys came through for me there was this lions kenyatta hospital but sasa shida yenye nilikuwa nayo like kenyatta you have un have kupanga hiyo line yote you know kenyatta hospital iko na ent there is kijabe hospital Lions, actually Lions I think it's the best but it's expensive and then Kuna Aga Khan it's expensive but we went to Kikuyu Kikuyu Hospital and akashughulikwa hapo akapewa dawa and he's under uh, under medication and I mean I'm just saying he's doing very much better haumi na kichwa tena alafu he's getting better yeah that's the update. Any other question you want to ask about ENT, ear, knee, ear, nose, and throat, you can let me know. There are so many suggestions of hospitals that I was given by my followers. And thank you so much, guys. And uh, yeah, so uh, apart from that, I've been doing good. And also today i went to kamukunji to buy items for someone and thank you so much guys for always trusting me with your money because getting someone to trust on social media see right see i also wanted to tell you about oh guys yesterday i was mad i was to talk about it but i didn't want to talk about it because hey ningeliata so Mimi, I think sijui kama nisiski yangu ama what is happening to me. So there was a head cushion shard a coffee table and uh, the same place that I got my couch because I, I trusted that guy because it's the same place that we cushion shard my cousin's couch. Although he delays, he always delivers. Also kuna mtu mwingine nilishon share the same couch and uh, yeah so nikalantu kum trust. So I wanted a coffee table and uh, Mimi, I paid everything because like siku nataka kukana hizo do sometimes we kana pesa unakula and I badly want a coffee table so I went I cleared everything and uh, the day that I was supposed to go get the coffee table guess what nilifika hapo and uh, the other guys told me that that guy is no longer working there and then his phone is switched off and uh, i don't know what to think because up to now i've not gotten the coffee table and the guy is not still there he's picking my calls and telling me he will still bring but he no longer works there but is is not delivering my he is not bringing my table it's been two days since yesterday he's like what's an ipake rangis jini i don't know what to do but i'm just thinking of the words i'm even threatening him actually i told him if tomorrow is not bringing i'm looking for police <laughs> i don't know if we'll bring but i'm so scared i don't know what to think you know this is nairobi i don't know what to think but if he don't deliver I will be so mad because like what on a jungle when you could have to pesa ni 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 ngumu your pesa tayari ni like I don't even want to to talk about it but I just hope it's going to deliver I just wanted to tell you because Nikki later up I know there are some guys who will be asking me for the number and since it come to end and no emesa come to come who yo Alafu, a queen convenience hivo. Alafu will be saying it's now Mikiki. So I just want to talk about it. Like, but that's not good. If you given a job by someone, just make sure you communicate. Ata ange talk up, ange niambia like, hi Kiki. Uh, okay, your table, we, we, uh, your table itamalizika, but I'm no longer there. Kuliko like making me go all the way to there. And I don't know when to give his number and then he he does the same thing to you he has failed me so many times and i feel like okay sometimes maybe ready-made but 
I wanted that particular table that I got from Pinterest and it's very hard. Ni hard kupata place ikiwa ready made. So sometimes you have to kupatana na vitu ka hizo. But anyway, I don't even want to talk about it because it has been stressing me for three good days.